Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing okay and having a good start to the weekend. I thought I'd just quickly come on um, and show you my very quick haul before I pack it all away. Um, it's a bit of a, an odd one for me because I'm actually in New York. Um, I've been in America for about mm, five days now. I'm working over here in New Jersey um, and soon Wisconsin next week. Um, so I'm spending the, the weekend in New York as a bit of a freebie um, from work. So. I arrived a little bit earlier on um, and what a crazy city this is I have to say. Um, I completely got lost, I tried to go and find um, Central Park which is very close to my hotel apparently and yeah I ended up in Times Square <laughs> absolutely flabbergasted by the size, the amount of people etc etc. Um, so I've not done much exploring but I did find a, a TJ Maxx very close to my hotel so I'll quickly show you what I got. First up um, I've picked up some of the fragrance spheres. Um, we do have these in the UK. Um, they're far and few between, um, and they're about five pounds, which is fairly expensive for something that's probably really not going to have much scent to it. Um, I picked this one up in the scent uh, Coral Shores, um, and it was a dollar ninety nine. Um, so in UK pounds, the conversion is probably about what one pound seventy, something like that. So I thought it was a bit of a bargain try that. I just hope it gets home in one piece. I don't really fancy all that jelly stuff all over my bag, but we'll see. Um, next up, I've got quite a few car jars. Um, I'm a bit addicted to these, if I'm honest. The cheapest I could found them in the UK is about £2.50 um, from Boundary Mills, but I found some different scents, um, and these were all really cheap. So I've got this, um, this candy corn here. Um, the reason it's ripped is because I had to rip it off the thing. I couldn't get it, get it down. It's high, quite a high peg. I just had to like rip it off and uh, <laughs> and take it, and this was um, a dollar ninety nine. I do like candy corn. It's not very um, strong, I find, in tart form or in candle form. So um, I'll be I'll be uh, excited to find out how that works out in the car. Bit of a theme going here. Um, next up, um, I've got witch's brew. Um, again, car jar, and that again was a dollar ninety nine. I'm hoping the lighting's not too bad in here. I'm in a, obviously in a hotel, so um, lightings in hotels are notoriously bad. So I do apologise if it's um, if it's pretty bad viewing. Um, next, up, I've got one of these. I've never had one of these ones before. It's the ones with the actual like liquid, um, like a vent clip. This one's in Maya lemon, which I guess is probably like Sicilian lemon that we have in the UK. Um, and again, this one was a dollar ninety nine as well. And last for the car stuff. Um, I've picked up this one in, I think it's Apple Pumpkin, I believe. Um, yeah, it's got an apple and a pumpkin, so it's probably a good guess. Um, and again, this was one um, $1.99. So I'm quite excited to have these because I've, we don't have like pumpkin type scents really in the UK. I've never seen apple pumpkin um, in Yankee form. We do have candy corn and we do have witch's brew, but I've never seen them in the car jars. Um, the lemon mayo, I just got it because it was the, the vent clip and it was a little bit different, so i get excited to try that. And then lastly, I did say it was quite a quick haul. Lastly, I picked up a large jar in Jack Frost. Um, I'm really excited to get this one because it's one I've never actually seen in the UK. Um, it is a fairly new pour. It's a 2017 pour, um, and this was... $12.99 which I think is a, is a cracking price because I, I don't know the exact conversion but it's probably around £10 or something in the UK um, so I think that's a, a good price. I really like the scent of this as well. Um, it's very strong with peppermint but there's a vanilla in there as well so there's a sweetness of vanilla so I will burn this. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm kind, kind of sad to burn it because I can't because, because I'm working my bag is full of obviously work clothes and work things so I don't have a ton of room in my bag um, otherwise I could have gone crazy they had all sorts of, of different scents like um, twisted peppermint um, peppermint martini I think that is in the UK I think it's like a treasure or a USA exclusive they had all sorts and there were some really really nice candles that I really wanted some of the DW home ones as well um, but I just I can't fit them in my bag, and you know, if this survives, if this makes it back to the UK in one piece, I'll be uh, I'll be happy and quite surprised. So that's about all I can pick up candle-wise, I'm afraid. Um, so that's everything. That's my uh, 
TJ Maxx haul. Um, it was quite an experience in there, I have to say. It's very, very different to the UK. It was very squashy in there. <clears throat> it was actually quite messy. It was a bit like a jumble sale, if I'm honest. Um, but the stuff was really nice. Um, good prices as well. I picked up some other stuff like um, I got some uh, is it oils of life or something, some eye cream. For like $4.99. They're like £30 in, in the body shop, so I did quite well. And I got some um, philosophy hand cream for like a dollar. And that probably would be about £12 in the UK, so I did quite well. Um, so that's everything. If I do get anything else interesting, um, I, I will obviously post it up. Um, but I think that's going to be it for, for shopping for me, unfortunately, just simply because I don't have the room in my bags. Right, guys, take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll probably speak to you when I'm back in the UK. Bye.